Input, Output and Storage Devices A computer is an electronic machine that is programmed to perform multiple tasks and make your work easy and convenient. It has a complex mechanism both internally and externally which helps it to store, retrieve and process data easily. It is connected with various parts that carry out the work sequentially without any interruption. The main parts of a computer are Monitor It is an important part of the computer as it displays the visual output of data. It may vary in size according to the usage. Keyboard A keyboard is an input device with different types of buttons like number keys, alphabet keys and special keys to enter data. CPU or Central Processing Unit It is also called the brain of the computer. It is responsible for executing the instructions and fetching the correct output. Mouse it is an input device used to move cursor and pointer on the display screen. It has two buttons, right and left, and a scroll wheel. Printer It is an external hardware device used to generate the hard copies of your data. Bits and Bytes A computer operates and stores data in the form of zeros and ones. These digits are called binary digits or bits. Each bit is equal to either 0 or 1. The computer works in binary language which uses zeros and ones. All instructions or data that we input is converted to binary language before being stored in memory or processed. Similarly, Computer output is produced in binary language and converted into our language before being displayed. Computer uses binary language as this is the simplest and the most effortless way to control logical circuits. A bit is the smallest unit of data which is 0 or 1. Computer memory is represented and measured in bytes where one byte is equal to 8 bits. Higher units of computer memory are kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes and petabytes. One kilobyte or KB is equal to 1024 bytes. 1 megabyte or MB is equal to 1024 kilobytes. 1 gigabyte or GB is equal to 1024 megabytes. 1 terabyte or TB is equal to 1024 gigabytes. 1 petabyte or PB is equal to 1024 terabytes. Input Devices Input devices are hardware devices that send data and instructions to the computer that is further sent to the CPU for processing. Examples of input devices include keyboard, mouse, scanner, digital camera and joystick. Output devices Output devices are used to send data from one computer or user to the other. It is a way of displaying the data in audio, video or print form so that it is useful for human needs. Examples of output devices include monitor, printer, plotter, projector and speaker. Processing Devices A process is an instance of a program running on a computer. A processing system is a combination of machines, people and processes. It is the transformation of a set of inputs into meaningful outputs. 
Examples of processing devices are Central Processing Unit and Graphics Processing Unit or GPU. Storage Devices Storage devices are computing hardware devices used for storing and extracting files for future use. They can hold the data temporarily or permanently and can be internal or external to the computer. Examples include pen drives, hard disks, CDs, DVDs, SD and micro SD cards, magnetic tape and many more. There are two different types of storage devices, primary and secondary. Primary storage devices. They are smaller in size, designed to hold data temporarily and are internal to the computer. Examples are RAM and ROM. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It is the primary memory of the computer and is attached directly to the motherboard. RAM is volatile. It means that the data stored will be lost forever once the computer is switched off. ROM stands for Read-Only Memory. Its contents can be accessed and read but cannot be changed. It has a non-volatile memory. Secondary storage devices. They have large storage capacity and store data permanently. They can be either internal or external to the computer. Examples are hard disk, optical disk drive and USB storage device. External memory was designed so that data could be shared between computers. External devices are not necessarily directly connected to the motherboard. They are non-volatile. It means that the data stored is permanent and will not be lost when you turn off the computer.